All right, Asia, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yesterday, I went to go get my eyebrows done. Okay. I wanted to come correct. I left a $5 tip. I usually only leave two. Yeah. You know I mean, we on a budget, we ain't balling. It's okay. And then you come up here looking like Storm. You look amazing. Thank Can you, you tell me the inspiration? Or you were just like, I wanna get my Jimmy Butler on. <laughs> right, um, no, I saw the silver and the black and the uniforms and I was like, you know, I gotta come correct with the hair. Like, it's only right to kinda spice it up a little bit. It's year seven, why not? And uh, yeah, my hairstylist made it come to life and now we're here. <laughs> When you the champ, you could do what you want. Um, real intense basketball question, okay? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm like Less than 12 seconds. Your team's up three. Mm. No fouls to give. Other teams inbounding the ball. Mm. No fouls to give. Mm. What do you do? Up by three. Okay, I'm definitely going to have pressure on the ball, and then we're just going to pray. But I'm going I'm to be good that we're going to get a stop. Like, defensively, I'm locked in, and we're going to get a stop. They're not going to get the score. So put somebody a lot of pressure over the basketball. Hey, we're good. You notice that the bigs are not fouling, but the guards are fouling. Of That's course, the thing we. <laughs> they're hacks. We're going to get to that later. Um, obviously, another championship season. Uh, dreams came true at the Usher Show. I was there. I was so glad to see it. The parade was just as lit. But to you, New York Times bestseller, by the way, congratulations. What was your favorite part of the offseason? Oh, yeah. It has to be my book tour. I feel like I've opened up a whole other side of that audience style. And I love that. that they're, I'm welcoming not just from an athlete standpoint, but from a person standpoint. So I've had tons of fun there. It was a lot of different looks, uh, always on the go. But my book tour had to be the best. And, and it was, and I know that, you know, you were busy this offseason doing a lot of things, but something that hit my mind about a month ago was if we go back a year, the facility was just built, right. meaning y'all didn't have the entire offseason to spend time there. Everyone can bother Tyler, tweak their game, and kind of game plan at your home, at your headquarters. Yeah. How great is it to finally have that advantage and get to use it this summer? It is truly something special. It's something that, I, you know, you never know how much you needed something until you get it, and I feel like that's our practice facility. Like, yeah, we can go to any gyms anywhere, but when you have a home space that you can just go there at any time it, I love it I love the gym like that I'm not a huge gym rat but it's like when I want to go I want to go and we have that so we're lucky man <laughs> and I gotta ask you first off I wasn't the person that voted you fourth in MVP voting okay. but it's training camp yeah. you guys are getting ready yeah. we have to get ready to a lot more eyes are gonna be on this season for a variety of different things what's something you want the media to take into consideration this year give me some tips oh man I want to I want to dive into a lot of different stories I feel like we talk about storytelling a lot when it comes to us but I don't want our game to turn into like gossipy and trendy like let's get into the facts let's open up this broaden the eyes our audience of these young women that are doing awesome things on and off the court and I think that's what we don't see enough of um, and so yeah I think that's a big key of just like let's dive into let's dive into more than an athlete let's get let's let's really talk some talk all right let's talk some talk with the speed round are you ready all right Sid said she wanted uh, Victoria Monet to show up to a game this season okay. how about you Yes, 100%. Actually, I need her to perform at halftime. <laughs> she, she needs the halftime show. Uh, what's more, did, what, what are you more annoyed by? The person who always calls and one or the person that always licks their fingers at the free throw line? Oh, lick their fingers at the free throw line. That's so nasty. I mean, ice cream and one, so I can't be annoyed at, at myself. But yeah, that's disgusting. If I didn't ask you this question, I wouldn't be real. Team Kendrick or Team Drake? Honestly, I haven't listened to any of the diss tracks, so I really can't say it right now. <sighs> Way not to be toxic. What do you mean? It's really messy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't really dived into that yet. Sorry. <laughs> Two more. Um, if you had to start a podcast with any teammate, who would it be? Sid. I feel like we would have some great topics and probably end up arguing. But yeah, Sid and I could probably kind of do a good podcast. Last question. Is it still Aces versus everybody? now and forever ronnie 2k before we end this interview you need to put her on the cover of nba 2k 24 stop playing with me y'all should have put her on the cover last year i said that not her thank you asia for the time <laughs>